Right now, the Racers' offense hasn't been up to snuff as usual. And because of that, they don't have the 79-61 lead you might expect. They're up by only two. A lot of that credit goes to Austin P. They've been really stingy with excellent execution of their 2-3 zone. Lob pass in the backcourt comes to Caleb Brown. Ten seconds, nine seconds into the corner. This is Blake inside. Easily call for a foul as Fraley went in for the stuff. And he'll get two free throws with 4.1 seconds to go. And Fraley is a 62% free throw shooter who's one of two tonight. Really, I don't think that's that bad a foul because if Easley backed off, I think it's a stuff shot, Nate. It's a dunk and it's yeah. two points. It's a great foul by Easley. Fans thought it was a clean block. Let's be honest. Easley's a great shot blocker, but yeah. that was a foul that's there. A foul. But Don't now Fraley's got to compete with this in the end zone. The racer fans. The band and the student section in an absolute frenzy. He has to hit both before they can think overtime, and he hits the first one. Now Billy Kennedy going to take a timeout, and racers have two, so they'll have one left. So really a chance to maybe ice Fraley a little bit, make him think about this next free throw, and then also if he makes it, Coach Kennedy getting his racers prepared for the final 4.2 because we'll now have a chance. 4.1 seconds remaining in the contest. The thing you don't want to see is a missed one don't and have to get it. the rebound. Well, you're you just not don't even want to, to talk it. about that, are you? <laughs> that scenario is, does not exist. But I'm sure that's what he's telling him. Sure. you got to block out. Sure. You absolutely have to block out. Plus, you go over the scenario. If it's a mate, you do this. If it's a miss, you're going to try to do this. I give credit, by the way, to the racer defense that led to the Fraley foul. The perimeter was like a concrete wall yeah. of defense. They were not going to give up a three. And if it was going to be a three, it was going to be a tough one to make. Fraley will have to hit this one to tie the game with 4.1 seconds remaining. They bounce the ball to him. He stands at the free throw line, twirls it in his hands, dribbles once, twice, three times, four times, five times. It's in the air. It's good. We're tied with 4.1 seconds to go. McLean gets it into Miles up the far sideline. Shoots at the buzzer. Goal! It's good! And the Racers win! 65! 63! But they will take a look at it on the monitor before we send everybody home, so hang on. three days, but he's made his last three, and the one he makes with no time remaining was huge. Well, the players have already gone through the celebration and the handshakes. I thought he got it off on time, Nathan. I didn't think I there was too. much doubt, but I don't, you know, blame the officials. This is the reason you have the replay, so, but it sure takes a little of the steam out of it, doesn't it? However, we now... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. If it's good, you'd get to celebrate twice. Austin P is acting like this shot came after the buzzer. Austin P's bitch is acting like this one came after the buzzer. Their fan, their their players started. Sell, they're all around the monitor. Murray State players and Austin P players are all around the monitor. It is good. Oh, it's good. Uh oh, and Dave Luce is furious about it. And, I, I mean, how, either it is, I don't get it, you know? It either is or is it. Well, the Racers win 65-63. And they're getting the players through the traditional handshake line. And, well, I guess it's safe to say that it's in the books. The officials have left. That's the good sign. So, Racer basketball produced by Neil Bradley and Nathan Higdon. The executive producer, Paul Bob, the chief technical engineer, Adam Biddle, in the use of the descriptions or accounts of this game without permission from Murray State University is prohibited. The final score, the Racers 65, Austin P 63. Stay tuned for the Murray Bank Post Game Show coming up after this on the Murray State University Sports Network. Ken Butler.